Okay, welcome back. The subject of this video is how to connect a, an Arduino microcontroller to a PC printer port or the Raspberry Pi and use Arduino to read any number of complex sensors such as a DS18B20 centigrade temperature sensor and then the PC or the uh, Raspberry Pi will simply read the data back from the Arduino. Um, in this case it will come back as a full integer and all the scaling, multiplication, and display and stuff is handled by the PC or the Raspberry Pi. Uh, in addition to this we also have an LCD display connect it to the PC printer port, one of my serial LCD display setup that I've used, in addition to, to the serial program that operates the Arduino. So let's take a look at what we got. Here is my PC printer port breakout board. Here is an Arduino Nano. Moving down a bit, this is the DS 18B20 centigrade temperature sensor. This, this, and this are not connected. They are, they go with uh, Raspberry Pi. Works the same way as this does. And if we go further down and zoom in, here is the temperature that the uh, PC in this case got from Arduino. It did the uh, centigrade and Fahrenheit conversions and then wrote the data to this LCD display. Uh, let's check the temperature again uh, and see what we got. Coming up one moment. That fast. It read the Arduino and converted it and rewrote it to a serial LCD. Boom. Fast. No dragging around. Do it again. Boom. There it is. And it is getting warm in here. What the advantage of this is, uh, like I said, the Arduino can handle any number of sensors. And why not? Let, and this can be easily ported over to PIC or uh, PICX or, or even a microchip uh, PIC in uh, assembly for that matter. As long as it's just reading sensors, the uh, Raspberry Pi or the uh, PC through its printer port can read the data. I have this working exactly the same way on Raspberry Pi, as you might have saw in another uh, video. And there's a couple of variations in the program. This particular one does not require the Arduino to be reset. Now I made two sets of programs. The PC printer port or Raspberry Pi can reset Arduino. And in the uh, setup loop, it can do all the temperature measurements, store them in variables, and then it's a matter of two or three lines that's, that's um, connected to other I.O. pins. By themselves like this, this is only three, uh, well if you count the reset pin, if I use it, which I don't necessarily need in this program, I only have three connections between the printer port and the Arduino. There's an enable, a clock, and a data. That's all there is. I programmed the Arduino to basically think it was a 16-bit version of a TLC 548. That's, an, that's a little serial A to D converter chip that I've used in other projects. I decided, why don't I just program the Arduino to do all kinds of stuff and do it in 16 bits, and I can transfer full integers, not broken up bytes and other headaches and limitations that I've run into trying to use I2C with Raspberry Pi. Uh, and there is no I2C connection really for a printer port. And so 
Uh, you, I'll put the coating up for the variations on this on both of them. It gives you some more ideas to look at. And we'll have some more videos coming out soon. Have a great day.